Hi, this is question four from the AQA Core 1 January 2012 exam paper. Um, this is actually going to be question four A, B and C. And in the next video, I'm going to have a look at question four D. So um, first of all, what I'd like you to do is um, pause the video and see if you can try to answer this question for yourself. Okay, for the next part of this video, I'm going to give you some hints as to how you can go about answering the question. So, um, we're given that the curve has um, this equation here, and we're also given a sketch of this curve. Um, we're told that, um, that the curve passes through um, point A at negative 1, 0, which is this here, and also um, it, we're given the coordinates of point B, which is 1, 4. OK. Part A um, asks us to um, find um, dy by dx um, for this particular function here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to help you get started with this. So dy by dx, and I'm just going to do this work over here, is going to be equal to and what we want to do when we're differentiating is um, we multiply um, each term um, if we've got a polynomial which is what this is we multiply um, each term by the power and then we subtract one from the power so this is going to become well I'd need to times by five so it'll be five x and then I take one off the power so that's going to be to the power of 4 and then I do the same thing for each term as I go along and then obviously you need to decide um, what you do over here. For the second part um, I'm looking for the second derivative as we call it so you want to um, differentiate this function here so you differentiate and get once and then you're differentiating it again and um, that should tell you what the function here is. Part B says find an equation of the tangent to the curve, uh, the point A. So um, <coughs> what we've got over here, um, when you've completed this, is what we call the gradient function. So this um, particular thing here will tell you what the gradient is for any value of x. So the first thing that we need to do for this is we need to find the gradient of the tangent. So we know what our x coordinate is, so we should be able to use this to work out what the gradient of our tangent is. Once we know what the gradient of the tangent is, we can put it in this form here. Oops. OK, um, and then I'll let you decide how you finish that off. Uh, part C, um, we want to verify that the point B, where x equals 1, is a minimum point of the curve. So first of all, we need to decide that it is a stationary point. OK, so we're first going to decide that it's a stationary point. So we're looking at this point here, so in order to show that's a stationary point, what does the gradient need to be? And what information can we use that we've found so far to help us? Okay, once we've decided it's a stationary point, we then need to show that it's a minimum point. So you need to think about, once, once you know what, um, that it's a stationary point, what can you do to work out um, to see whether it's a minimum point? Okay, right. Um, I'm going to let you have a go at uh, um, finishing this off. Um, so if you'd like to pause the video now, and then I'll go over the answer shortly. Okay, I'm now going to go through the full solution of this part of the question. So, um, to start off, um, for part A, we want you to differentiate this. So we started that off by saying 5x to the power of 4. Um, I then want to multiply this um, 2 by this term here, so that's going to be take away 
6 and remember we take 1 off the power so that's going to be 6x to the power of 1 and I can just write that as 6x plus and if I differentiate x I just get 1 so plus 1 and if I differentiate 5 um, that doesn't affect the gradient so um, that, that will disappear so um, I've got 5x to the power of 4 take away 6x plus 1 for part 2 um, the second derivative well I need to now differentiate this so this is going to be 20 x and I take one of the power cubed take away and that just becomes 6 and the plus 1 disappears so we've got 20 x cubed take away 6 ok part b says find an equation of the tangent to the curve and, and we're given um, this point here so we're basically looking um, for the um, the equation of this line here which is going to be a tangent at this point okay that's what we're looking for just doing a different color okay so um, we first of all need to know the gradient and actually because I know that it that the x coordinate is negative one I can stick that into my gradient function to work out what the gradient is so I can say well um, when oops, when x equals minus 1 dy by dx is going to be equal to well that's going to be 5 times minus 1 to the power of 4 which is just 1 so that's going to be 5 take away 6 times negative 1 which is going to be plus 6 plus 1 and that's going to be 12 ok so our gradient here is going to be 12 gradient of this line is 12 ok and now I can use this because I know that it passes through the point at negative 1 0 so that's going to be y take away 0 which is just y just leave that as y equals m which is 12 times x take away negative 1 which is plus 1 and um, I can just tidy that up by saying y is equal to 12x plus 12 ok and that's the equation of this line here part c we need to verify and this is the word worth looking out for verify so that means that all we're doing is we're checking to see ok so we're checking to see that the point b where x is equal to 1 is a minimum point of the curve so we can just use this answer that is given us and we're just checking to see whether this statement is true ok so um, to check to see if it's a minimum point um, I first of all am going to put it into my gradient function and if it is a minimum point um, so if, if we're right and it is a minimum point um, then what we should find is that the gradient is going to be zero so that's what we're checking to see we're checking to see that the gradient um, when x is equal to one is zero so um, so dy by dx is going to be equal to and five times one which is five take away six times the one which is and then plus one and all together five take away six plus one gives me zero and because the gradient um, is zero at that point then we can say therefore a stationary point okay so um, now remember we, we wanted to check to see whether this is a minimum point so we're almost there we've shown that it's a stationary point but we now need to show that it's a minimum point now to show that it's a minimum point we need to now put one into our second derivative 
also um, I'm now going to say that d2y by dx squared is going to be equal to and 20 times 1 is 20 take away 6 is equal to 14 so this number here because it's positive that tells us that this um, is in fact going to be a minimum point if this number would have turned out to be negative then it would have been a maximum point okay so um, I can say therefore minimum point okay there you go remember this is just the first um, part of this question um, and I will go over part D in the next video. Okay, thanks very much.